Okay guys, what can you do with the corn tortillas and a little bit of refried beans? I'm going to start stuffing this corn tortillas with this and pan frying my tacos. I just want to make a few, even though it's 4th of July, this is just an extra little meal on the side. It makes an amazing snack, guys. Oh my goodness, it's so good. But anyway, let's get started. Hey guys, check out my 4th of July um, video that I made earlier. This is how nice and soft these tortillas should be. I'm just going to go ahead and start filling my um, taco with the refried beans. You just fill up one side. You can decide if you want cheese on them. What I'm going to do is just fill one side and show you guys how easy this meal is. So just go ahead and take out some salt, pepper, creole season, whatever you want. Some of them is going to have pepper for me. I'm going to keep it simple and I'm going to decide to seal, close. This is a really good seal, guys. Put it in the oil. So this one, again, you can, that one doesn't have cheese, right? So right now I'm going to go ahead and get cheese for this one. This one, again, can have a really good seal. You can take it, of course, wash your can off, guys, before you're just um, cooking something like this. But if you're ever in a rush and you're like, man, like I do like refried beans or, oh man, I'm wondering like what kind of tacos I can do that's um, nice and vegetarian. Okay, so use whatever seasoning you want, guys. Like right here, like right here, you can see that I have the Mexican cheese. So some can be cheesy, some others don't have to be cheesy. So right here, you could just decide to put a little cheese in here. Again, seal. I'm gonna seal a few of these and put them in a skillet and show you how easy, quick, fast, and yummy this meal is. So you can customize them to be your own. You can put chicken if you want. But to be honest, like I already made a meal with like meat and stuff. So what I'm going to decide to do is make like a meatless meal today. Um, well, a meatless meal as a little a side dish or something. Again, put your pepper. You can put some salt and pepper if you want. Um, what I'm going to do is use my favorite spice, which is this caramelized onion butter, guys. So go ahead and put a little. Just a little caramelized onion butter to get that flavor jumping. Just put a little caramelized onion butter. Put a little bit more of that here. A little bit more of that refried bean. That seals, but that's okay. If it comes out a little bit, just go ahead and take that part off and seal. So again, we are going to do this. And it's pretty nice and easy. Let me show you how it's looking in a skillet and how I cook mine. Seal, some will be cheesy, some won't. Nice and easy, quick, fast meal. This is the um, tacos. I'm going to just let them cook for four or five minutes. Let them get nice and crispy and flip them on the other side. Um, I would say add a little bit more oil. Oh, Y'all, I'm gonna turn it up because I do want my tacos to cook quickly because I got other tacos to cook as well. Some could be cheesy, some could be a little spicy with the pepper and others that taste more like a buttery flavor. Thanks guys, like and subscribe. All right, let me kind of move my spatula guys, but all right, this is what the tacos are looking like. If it opens up, that's okay, because the other side, to be honest, the other side will eventually seal. I will move some of these around because the skillet cooks these ones really fast over here. So move them around a little. Feel free to kind of move spaces it kind of opened here but that's okay i like a nice sealed taco um i cook it in a little bit of oil as y'all can see so again flip on this side let that side cook and it'll seal very well i'm gonna go go ahead and you just turn it up a little and then that's when the tacos can seal i'm gonna make a few more of these and this is just one can of refried beans and i already made five good tacos i'm gonna make like two more two three more thanks guys